Today we're going to be talking about the skein's glands, the female prostate, the source of female ejaculation. Sadly, I learned that my normally amazing anatomy app makes no mention of these. So I had to go make my own images. I'm very proud of this, even though it's probably going to scar you. The skein's glands, otherwise known as the periurethral glands, are located, as you might guess, on either side of the urethra. And yes, they are a homologue for the male prostate. As evidenced by the fact that you can find prostate-specific antigen, PSA, in the secretions that they secrete. One of the cool functions that the skein's glands have, besides putting the woo in your woohoo, is that the fluid they secrete may be antibacterial, which might keep the urethra cleaner and prevent bladder infections. As for putting the woo in the woohoo, they are responsible for what is known as the U-spot, or a urethral orgasm. Some research also supports that they may actually be the G-spot as well. Wait, I thought you said something about female ejaculation. Did you just talk to me? Yes, move on to the good part. Okay, let's talk about squirting. Who is in charge of my images? That's not any better. Ooh, this one's vintage and it's phallic. I'm more comfortable with this. First off, I'd like to say that if you haven't experienced female ejaculation or squirting, that is okay and you're still perfectly normal. And after this, you may have found out that you have experienced it and just not known what to look for. Because if your only experience with this is anything from a hub website, uh, it is vastly overblown and misrepresented. Number one, the fluid is not all urine, but it generally contains some. Number two, it may not actually accompany the big O. As in, it can be a separate distinct event. Third, if you do experience squirting, it may not be an extreme amount of fluid. The limited research that's out there says it's about 10 milliliters, which is a little less than a tablespoon. Do they have any clinical studies like this for dudes? Because sign me up. No, all of your stuff is well documented. Get out of here. And the squirt itself is usually described as more of a gush. This, this is exactly why I will never have any sponsors. In other words, it's less of a super soaker and more of a waterfall. So in this case, it's perfectly acceptable to go chasing waterfalls. And I wouldn't have done my job if I didn't give you a more accurate depiction of what they actually look like. They are teeny tiny, you may not even be able to visualize them. And like I said up top, some people can and some people can't. There's no reason to feel bad about this. I am curious though, did you have any idea that this piece of anatomy existed until you saw this video? As always, thanks for learning with us and if you've got a question, you know what to do.